I think these 1960s generation lay order of women <laughs> have kind of taken over St. Michael's world of postulate, probably because Michael Mangan is a, a kind person and he loves people, so they kind of took him over, sort of. And it's really not good because what it's turned into is a hippie party. And that's really not the Bayside message. What really needs to happen is the false prophets of Bayside, these false people who just come to eat cake and party and watch Michael Mangan as he's some sort of skit for them, really. And it's sad because they've kind of accommodated these pranksters because they spend so much money on this production and media. And I can tell you, being in L.A. music industry for, you know, however many years I was in it, that stuff really doesn't last and it doesn't matter. All you truly need is just a cell phone and uh, he can just have a manuscript of what he's going to say and publish it on his site. And it's just too bad for the people that want to show. If they want to show, they can just drive themselves over to Hollywood and sell their souls to Satan because this is the Bayside prophecy. And Veronica the Cross, she asked the Blessed Virgin Mary for a simple typewriter. And that's really how much Our Lady wants. She doesn't ask us to do crazy things like the Jews and the Freemasons over down on Hollywood Boulevard. She's asking us to do simple things with a simple heart.